Hello everyone, my name is Iris Franz. Today we're going to talk about how to solve a cost minimization problem with a Lagrangian expression. So here is a story. You have a firm that hires capital and labor to produce goods. And your production function follows a Cobb Douglas production function. So your quantity is equal to capital to the power of alpha times labor to the power of 1 minus alpha. And you sign a contract with your client that your output has to be greater than or equal to Q0. So Q0 is a number. And your goal is to satisfy this output constraint. At the same time, you want to minimize your cost. So your cost is equal to R times K plus W times L, where R is the rent of using capital and W is the wage rate. And K and L are the amount of capital and labor you hire. So you're trying to minimize the cost and at the same time satisfy your quantity constraint. So we use three steps to solve First is that we are going to set up our Lagrangian. Second, we are going to take partial derivative of our Lagrangian expression with respect to capital, labor, and lambda. Set them equal to zero. Then you have three equations and three unknowns. Solve for three equations and three unknowns. Then you'll be able to find the optimal amount of capital and labor that you're going to hire in order to minimize your cost and at the same time satisfy your quantity constraint. So we're going to start. The first step is set up Lagrangian. Your Lagrangian is equal to your cost function, that's a function you're trying to minimize, minus lambda times your quantity constraint. Notice that we're doing minus lambda because we're trying to minimize here. Second of all, your output has to be greater than or equal to your Q0. We're going to have the output that's a bigger one minus Q0, that's a smaller one. So it's very important you figure out this here. So after we set up the Lagrangian, we're going to take partial derivative with respect to K, L, and lambda. Set them equal to zero, so we have three equations now. And notice that when I solve for three equations and three unknowns, the first thing I'm going to do is that for equation one and two, I'm going to move this lambda term to the right-hand side. Move this one to the right-hand side and rewrite my equation one and equation two. And the next step is that I'm going to divide the left-hand side of equation one by the left-hand side of equation two and I know that it's going to be equal to the right-hand side of equation 1 divided by the right-hand side of equation 2. And therefore, moving this here, R over W is equal to this term with lambda divided by this term with lambda. And then I can cross out many terms here. I will cross out lambda first. And I'm going to divide both up and down stairs by k to the power of alpha minus 1 and also divide those up and down stairs by L to the power of negative alpha. So I'm left with alpha times L over 1 minus alpha over K. So I'm going to move this term here. So now I know R over W is equal to alpha times L over 1 minus alpha over K. And therefore, I can express L in terms of K. And the last step is that I'm going to plug this L into my quantity constraint. So last is my quantity constraint, where k to the power of alpha times L to the power of 1 minus alpha is equal to q0. And that's from my equation 3. So I'm going to plug that L in here. So I don't change k to the power of alpha. But for L to the power of 1 minus alpha, I'm going to plug this expression in here. And then I'm going to pull the k together. So that's k to the power of alpha times k to the power of 1 minus alpha. I'm pulling this out here. Times this term to the power of 1 minus alpha is equal to q0. 
and then I know k to the power of alpha times k to the power of 1 minus alpha is just k itself because alpha plus 1 minus alpha is just 1. So k times this term is equal to q0. Now I can solve for the optimal amount of capital and after some calculation you'll be able to find that k star, that's the optimal amount of capital I use, is equal to q0 times bracket w over r times alpha over 1 minus alpha to the power of 1 minus alpha. And you can see the demand for capital is indeed decreasing in the price of capital. So we know the demand for resource capital follows the law of demand. And then um, after this step, we can solve for the optimal amount of labor I'm going to hire. So I know from here, labor is a function of capital. So I'm just going to plug in this k star in here. Then I'll be able to solve for L. So L is R over W times 1 minus alpha over alpha times k. And I'm going to plug this term in here. After some calculation, you'll be able to find that L star, that's the optimal amount of labor I'm going to hire, is equal to this purple term here, Q0 times R over W times 1 minus alpha over alpha, the whole thing to the power of alpha. So you can see the demand for labor also follows the law of demand. When your wage rate goes higher, your demand for labor is going to go down. And you can also see that in this example, your labor and capital are substitutes. Because what? When the price of capital goes up, so when R goes up, you are going to hire more labor. So this is how to solve cost minimization problem with a Lagrangian expression. I hope this helps. I'll see you next time.